2.3b multiply with reducing. Let's consider this first problem. If I have four ninths times six fifths, and I use the rules we learned in the last video, where I just simply multiply the numerators and the denominators, I get 24 over 45. I then must have C if this reduces. Since both of these numbers are divisible by three, and they give me eight fifteenths, I have now added an extra step in the problem to get to eight fifteenths. But if instead we factor each of these, we can skip this step. Four factors to two times two, nine factors to three times three, six factors to two times three, and five is simply five. Now we can simply divide out anything in common on the numerators or denominators. As you can see, there are no twos in the denominators. Therefore, they will all stay. But we see that there is a three in both the numerator and the denominator. This means we can reduce them. We now have two times two times two, which is eight, and three times five, which is fifteen. So we still got the same answer of eight fifteenths. So when multiplying, we can divide out a common factor from the numerator of either fraction and the denominator of either fraction. Let's see this done in example one. Example one shows six thirty-fifths times fourteen fifteenths. We can start by factoring each of these, or remember, if we can see ones that are in common, we can use those. If I look at both the six and the fifteen, which are the six is in the numerator and the fifteen is in the denominator, I know that both of those are divisible by three. Six divided by three is two, and fifteen divided by three is five. Next, I can look at the other diagonal or the other numerator and denominator. They are both divisible by seven. Fourteen divides by seven two times, and thirty-five divides by seven five times. I now double check that the numerator and denominator do not have any more numbers in common. And then I multiply across. Two times two is four, and five times five is twenty-five. If you are not comfortable with seeing the numbers, remember, you can always factor them first. The six would factor to a two times a three, the thirty-five would factor to a five times a seven, the fourteen factors to a two times seven, and the fifteen factors to three times five. You can now reduce the factors that are in common, which would include a seven and a three. This will still give you the answer of four twenty-fifths. So whichever method you choose will get you to the same answer. Let's look at the next example. I know that six fourteenths, both of these are divisible by two. Six divides by two three times, and fourteen divides by two seven times. Next, I look and I see that thirteen is a prime number, and there's not a thirteen in any of the other numbers. But thirty-five has a seven in it. Thirty-five divided by seven is five, and seven divided by seven is one. This gives us the answer of fifteen over thirteen. 
Remember, if you're not comfortable with the seeing method, find the prime factorization of each number. The prime factorization of six is two times three. Fourteen is two times seven. Thirty-five is five times seven. And thirteen is simply thirteen. You then divide out all common factors, which will give you the same answer as we got previously, fifteen over thirteen. Remember, when multiplying fractions, it is easiest to reduce and then multiply numerators and then multiply denominators to get your final answer.